one and choose group with above track. So now you can see this one here is the group and this is the, so basically this group is now containing these two patterns here. And if I want to group even more tracks, I can just go to the next one here and choose group with above track. So as you can see, they are now in the same group here. Here you can also see in the playlist the different lines here. You can see that it's a, kind of like a grid. Uh, let's zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. You can see all of the different lines here, which just tells you the time signature of the track. So um, I can just move this like that and it will uh, stay in the right time. So you can change the fine tuning of the timing here. So basically how you uh, want the different patterns to be set in time by going to this list here. You can see it's now set on line, but you can change it to cell, you can change it to one six step. Um, so yeah, so let's say you want it to be one six step. You can see now it's only um, snapping to each of this grid series, you can see like that. And we can also go to none. So now it's basically just random here. Um, you can set it exactly where you want. So it can be out of tune like or out of timing like that. So that is how you do it with the time signature in FL Studio's playlist. So let's go back to the line here. Happy about how this different pattern clips looks like. It's very easy to customize that. So if you're in the playlist view here and you have the playlist window open, you can just go to this one here and um, let's go to view and let's go to behind the clips, for instance. Here you can choose, let's say that I don't want anything in the background like that, or I can choose some different things here, like say aqua like that. And now you can really, really see the different clips here. I will go back to how I had before. So let's go to view here and just go to cell. But I really want to show you that you can choose a lot of different things here. You can see grid color, um, resize all tracks. You can do a lot of different customization in FL Studio. And this is really unique to FL Studio because um, different digital audio workstations, they have different kind of customizations as well. But I think FS Studio has the most one. There's so much you can customize in FS Studio. It's crazy. If we zoom out a bit in this project here, you can see that there are a lot of different markers here in the arrangement. And how do you do that? You just simply go to wherever you want it to be. Just right click here, add marker. And now we can call it whatever. So let's actually call it whatever. And now you can see it, uh, it appears here. So you can do that by just, you know, you want to see where, let's say, our chorus starts or verse starts. That is really nice to have. But you can do that with this as well is to put a new time signature. So you can see the time signature for this part until this part here is 3-4. And then we have 4-4 four, four time signature. So you can change the time signature of the track in time here by just uh, doing the same thing. But instead of going to add marker, you just go to add time signature. And this is what it what is done here. So um, you can set time signature if you want to change it. So uh, you can just change it to whatever you want. We can listen to uh, just listen to this track and you will hear what it does with this 3-4 and 4-4 time signature change. That's actually a really, really nice track. <laughs> I really like this demo track. It's amazing. Um, but still, as you can see, 3 fourth and 4-4. Four, four. So that is a time signature change um, that you can do with the, with the marker, basically. What you can do here is to uh, place loop. So if I place a loop here, it will loop to that region. So uh, let's see that I 
play here and that it will loop to there. So let's delete that loop. So that is a basic overview of the playlist in FL Studio. And I really hope you learned the basic functions of the playlist with all of the knowledge that I teach you here in this section of the course. Uh, you can actually create a track of this. I mean, it's the, the FL Studio playlist is so versatile and there are so many functions that we can really dig deep in. Uh, but just to create a track, it's very, very easy to just do it with the knowledge that I teach you in this video, in this lecture here. Um, and my like really big pro tip here is to just stay organized. So you can see all of the different patterns here are very, very organized with how they look by coloring, naming, grouping, and uh, yeah, besides what I did here, actually, because I just show you how to do the groups and just experiment it a bit. But what I mean here is with this track here, um, with the demo project, you can see everything is so organized, named, colored, and uh, yeah, you can see exactly where everything is. So um, a pro tip to you guys is to stay organized when you produce. It's a lot, lot easier to create a very nice track by doing this. Um, let's say that I that you're not organized and you're placing stuff everywhere and you're just playing your track and you don't know what's going on or why it sounds bad or why it sounds out of tune or something like that because you you're not organized you're not staying organized with your track and then it's a lot lot more difficult to um to just see the error that you that you want to fix you know if you were more organized if you were coloring and naming everything then you will see where you have this error for instance all right, guys, so let's see you in the next lecture.